Hello. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm the last person between you and the break, so I try to make it <coughs> quick. But I think uh, this is interesting. So I, start, I brought a um, peppy title with me here. Starting maybe a bit with the motivation. So passwords, everybody knows passwords, everybody uses passwords, but they are legacy. So depending on the different studies, about 60 to 90% of all successful cyber attacks succeed because of stolen passwords or phishing. So that's a significant number. And this could be easily solved by using passwordless logins. So um, I had this presentation last time at the next cloud conference, so I guess many of you know what are passwordless logins, but I will repeat here um, for the newbies and to remember it. So basically passwordless logins is a new generation of two-factor authentication. It's not even more secure, but it's also easier to use than classical two-factor authentication me mechanisms, but also easier to use than normal passwords. And that's very significant because of user acceptance. So we have here a technology which people would like to use because it's super simple, it makes their life easier, but at the same time it's more secure. And it comes with phishing protection because the domain name, in this case of your next cloud instance, is involved in the computation of the login token. And these tokens therefore cannot, cannot be stolen by any phishing, any malware. So it's very nice technology. Um, you can, but it's also two-factor authentication. I said um, the first factor is something, usually something physical. It could be your laptop, it could be a phone, but it could also be something like a night to key USB key to log in. So similarly as you open uh, your home door with your physical latch key, here you have your night to key to log into your next cloud or other services. You can use it for, in theory, for unlimited amount of services to log in with a sing single night to key. And the second factor can be something like a device pin. Usually it is something like a device pin, which is optional if you want to have two-factor authentication. It can be configured to use to, to request for a device pin. If you only want one factor, um, technically the device pin can be avoided. So uh, where we are with password as logins, of course it's nothing we invented. This has been standardized by the Worldwide FIDO Alliance a couple of years ago. It's supported by all operating systems, including Android and iOS. It's supported by all web browsers. It's also supported by Nextcloud, of course. And it's also supported by, unfortunately, just a few other websites or services. We have a list here at dongleauth.com. But most importantly for enterprises is that it is supported by most identity and access management systems, which middle to larger enterprises usually use. So a single login portal um, instead of having user authentication in each and every of the enterprise systems. <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe just a quick word uh, to the last point. Pass keys, something you could have read recently in the media, uh, which is kind of the same thing, but uh, a different term, which is coined by Apple, so that you cannot o only use something as a Nitro key, but you can also use something like your iOS or Apple uh, MacBook, but also Android, and in this case, the key is not as secure as having a physical key, but the kind of key is a soft key and then stored in your password manager of the operating system. Um, it makes it maybe more easier to use for um, ordinary users, but it's also less insecure than having a real physical device. And now I would like to show a quick demonstration. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, that's a very short demo because it's super easy. As you see, we are here in Nextcloud going to our user settings tab for security and then you find the support section for passwordless authentication to register a new something like a Nitro key. Now you press the device for confirmation, give it a name in case you have different or multiple devices and now your Nitro key is added to your account. So next time you log in, 
you don't go for this mask, but choose login with the device. Still enter your username. You see there's no password prompt, but now you touch for confirmation the Nitro key and you're logged in. So it's super simple. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jan, thank you.